John Kernan. Well, we documented Cruz Pedregon's fire, what it meant for his team and the quick turnaround in 65 minutes. Moments before the uh, top fuel engine fired for that first run, they just pulled the car into the staging lanes. In fact, everybody else, all the other drivers, are strapped in their cars. Cruz just now getting strapped in as they had to rebuild that car. They also changed the body, and there was a crack around the windshield area that they had to replace the windshield. So these guys worked their tails off during that 65-minute turnaround, and they did, in fact, get Cruz to the uh, staging lane. And right next to the snap-on car, that's where I find Brian Karate, Antron Brown's crew chief, who was very animated following that run. You guys just seem to be able to pull up that number whenever you need it. How did you do it this time? Well, we dug deep. Um, we went and did some things that we don't normally do, but we got to race Tony. It's the best car on the circuit. So. Any chances you tell me what those things are? I think I know the answer. <laughs> no. no? No, I got to dig deeper for the next round. Now go back and see what you can find in your bag of tricks as we send it now to the booth and stat guy, Louis Bloom. Spencer Massey looking to win three races in a row. The last guy to win three races in a row on tour. Any guess, guys? Might he be in the other lane? Larry Dixon. Yeah, that's a huge matchup. Both Larry Dixon and Spencer think about it. Oh, a lot of their career is to Don the Snake for Dome because they both came up through his team. That's absolutely right. And right now, Larry Dixon, though, he's focused on trying to uh, on that Christmas tree right now. He knows Spencer Massey's a very good lever. Larry Dixon no slouch himself, but he knows he has to dig deep because that Fram card is just, I mean, let's face it. I mean, it's consistent. It's consistently fast, and their driver is consistently quick on the, on the tree. They don't make very many mistakes. I'm thinking, though, that Father's Day is going to help Larry. Hasn't hurt in the past. I tell you, 384, 317 miles an hour. Larry Dixon to his 107th career final round and looking for his first win of this season. I'll tell you, just a great old drag race right there. Man, Spencer Massey had the advantage off the starting line. 034 to 051. Good life for Larry. Great life for Spencer. Spencer just did not have enough on the racetrack as you watch him just hike the front end up in the air. I think it probably drove through the clutch maybe a little bit through the middle of the racetrack. Something they weren't expecting because I guarantee they had that tuned up to run better in a 386, especially after they went 384 in the previous round. You take a look at the photo finish camera. Six thousandths of a second. Larry Dixon gets to the stripe first. Let's go up to the top end now, and Gary Gerald. Well, Antron was standing here watching Larry Dixon advance in that great matchup with Spencer Massey. Give us your thoughts now as you get ready to go to a final opportunity here at Thunder Valley. Well, Gary, I mean, first we always we want to see a, a teammate final round, so uh, it's a bummer for Spencer. But uh, Dixon's a tough component. The Allen Ivy team's incredible, so uh, we just got to go in this final round with this lucky dog car, and we got to step it up. Dixon always gets the best of us by a little bit, by a couple foul, a couple foul there. Hopefully today. We got enough of this lucky dog, Aaron's, and that's just to turn that corner, man. And uh, that's seven rounds for the Aaron's car, so we'll see what we can do in this final, man. We got to keep on marching forward. We're going to go put this thing back together, those Mako tools, and get on that track and see what we can do, brother. Thanks. Antron Brown looking now at the final. And Cruz Pedregon looking to race in his second final round here at Bristol. He's got to face Jack Beckman, who has two wins already this season. Cruz trying to get his first. We'll be back.